Hey guys, D Field here, and welcome to my 200,000 subscriber special, guys. I wanted to make this video today to just quickly thank you, really a lot, like immensely quickly thank you for all that you guys have done for me. Two and a half years on YouTube to hit 200,000 subscribers. Now, some of you guys might be comparing it to other YouTubers thinking this and this, and guys, I honestly don't care. When I started YouTube two and a half years ago, I had no clue in my mind. I had no idea in my mind that I would ever come this far, ever reach a milestone such as 200,000 subscribers, guys. Like, honestly, just thank you. Thank you for all of your continued support. I want to I want to give a huge thank you to the Archon, obviously, for being the main server that started out everything and um, a quick thank you to the entire cube all of my friends just all the people that I've met over this two and a half year journey that have just kind of helped me reach uh, where I've gotten to in the past two years so I just wanted to just quickly thank all of those guys as well but anyways guys um, I really wanted to do just kind of uh, just take a moment to step back and realize that 200,000 subscribers we are a fifth of the way to a million maybe I mean maybe we'll get there one day like now it doesn't seem so far-fetched you know like maybe one day we'll actually reach a million subscribers imagine but guys thank you so much for your continued support thank you so much for your just coming back day in and day out and watching my videos every single day I really do appreciate it guys all of you and you guys know who you are you guys who are here ride and die you guys are just here every single freaking day i thank you guys from the bottom of my heart now without further ado guys you guys have all requested for a texture pack and you guys have seen it in the past couple of videos as i've showcased it in uhc amongst a lot of other things thank you guys so much we're gonna go ahead and jump into the official texture pack review and if you guys want to download this texture pack and edit to your liking or maybe just use the one that i upload down in the description below my fellow friend ace packs has provided for us this texture pack that i will We'll be reviewing today thank you so much guys thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers this is D field let's get right into it all right guys this is the texture pack we are gonna be releasing to you guys for my 200,000 subscriber special now before we get into a little bit of the review guys this is all of my preferences obviously some of you guys are not gonna like this or this or this change it to your liking guys if you guys want to get your own texture pack edit it to your liking this is exactly what I like this is what I've this is what I play this is uh, all the colors that I like so this is the reason why it's my texture pack so if you guys have any changes that you want to do to it obviously do so at your own discretion and uh, yeah just feel free to edit this pack to the way you like it but anyways as you guys probably know I am a big UHC player and I play UHC on stream a lot so basically uh, you've got your own little highlighted ores here now as you guys can see the diamond ores are highlighted to this blue slash purple uh, color scheme so they're very 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 easy to spot in the cave system, especially against a whole bunch of stone. Now, I've got a lot of uh, complaints that the stone is too dark, but it actually, when you guys actually input this texture pack into your own game, the stone just looks perfect. It's just the way that my recording uh, screen is actually capturing everything. So diamonds, um, everything is basically highlighted except for lapis. Now, the reason why lapis is not highlighted is because uh, when you have lapis highlighted, it looks a little bit too similar to the diamond color. So this is just to kind of differentiate all of it. But e everything except for lapis is highlighted. So we got redstone we got gold we got iron we got coal everything is very easy to see now there's also a feature over here let me click on this real quick this is basically what a ravine will look like to you guys like imagine if you guys are mining or if you guys are playing UHC as you guys can see it's very easy to differentiate the stone from the iron and it's very easy to see just everything all the blocks in every given scenario it's so freaking sick I love this texture pack and you guys already know how much how often I play UHC so this is why this texture pack with the dark color scheme is a little bit easier on the eyes for those of you guys who are doing that so let me go back and uh, so yeah the ores are highlighted I mean obviously you guys can see all the building blocks which is kind of vanilla if you guys have ever used the um, the faithful 32 pack this is basically a lot of the blocks a lot of the building blocks and such have just been taken from that texture pack itself so if you guys have used faithful 32 before or faithful 16 even these are basically the same exact textures like we haven't really changed too much the only things that have kind of changed and updated are a little bit of the PvP related stuff so 
Uh, and uh, the enchanting table is pretty standard. It's just a little bit more of an HD version, as you guys can see here. It's still got the little purple and whatnot. And obviously, the one thing that you guys are going to want to look at is the diamond blocks, which is this nice blurple color. We got di uh, emerald blocks right here. I got a nice little, uh, it reminds me of like a Zelda green. Uh, we got the uh, lapis blocks. I believe this is lapis. Yes, it is. Lapis. Uh, gold now the gold blocks I obviously in this texture pack this since this is more of a PvP related texture pack You don't really see gold blocks too often But this they're a little bit of this darker color and then obviously you have the iron blocks right here now Obviously the one thing that you guys are gonna want to see are the swords So let me go ahead and grab a couple of the swords right now and check this out guys the diamond sword and every single sword is just this little HD texture just I love the way it's turned out It just basically is the minecraft sword just a little bit more HD so you see a little bit of pixelation which some people might not like but I love it man it's just, it just it's just perfect looking for me man so you got that HD looking texture for every single one and it's you know it's very easy to tell an iron sword where uh, like a, a part from, it's very easy to tell apart an iron sword from a stone sword as you guys can see because the stone sword is a little bit darker so those are the swords right there for you let's go ahead and toss these out real quickly and now the bow is this purple texture which is a nice and freaking beautiful some people were requesting to have like the half pulled full pulled color combination but I just decided to go with this normal uh, I decided to go with the normal purple color because that's you know You don't really need to see that all the time on every single texture pack But I prefer this and I love the way that the bow looks so I, it's just it's just my own personal preference With the bow if you guys want to edit that in your own texture pack If you guys want to make an edit of mine and you know add those colorings to your PNG files for your texture pack Feel free to do so guys like I'm I'm inviting you to do that now This is one of the cool little things as well look at look at the enchanted books guys the enchanted books look freaking amazing Amazing in the inventory. Like I love the model of it and just how everything looks uh, for that. Now, obviously, when it comes to the diamond armor and all the other armors, it's basically uh, it's basically default. Uh, the default look, but it is de just that blurple blue slash purple color combination that you guys ha normally have Which makes it a little bit easier to use honestly you, you can tell what people have diamond armor and that's just kind of the color scheme I have went with fishing rods have been changed to this nice little uh, Purple color purple blue and then we've got a little bit of a nice blue hint to the flint and steel So it's very very easy to see as you guys can see the flames are a, oh my god, oh my god, before I break the freaking map here, the flames are this nice little color that you guys will be able to look at. Oh my god, it just looks so nice, man. It looks so freaking nice to have this color um, as the flame. I don't know, I just, I really prefer it, and it looks really, really nice when you go into the nether. So that's basically all that I have changed. Everything is basically, I mean, the rest of everything else is kind of just vanilla Minecraft stuff. Um, the diamond horse armor, he, uh, Ace Packs has gone through the effort of changing the diamond horse armor to even have this blurple color and then everything else is pretty standard man here are the uh here are the diamonds here are the golden apples the god apples and the normal apples they are they do have this purple color kind of reminds me of like a grape applesauce grapple color you know what i'm saying but you know it looks very very nice and if you guys look at the hd texture of this apple oh that just looks so nice and freaking beautiful doesn't it looks nice in your hand especially when you're just uh playing uhc and those those are basically the things that I have changed everything else all the building blocks This is obviously not like a building or a builders texture pack So everything else is kind of just faithful textures cobblestone stone everything just looks very nice and standard if you guys want to see the biomes uh, I can show them to you real quickly. There's the desert ocean taiga Forest everything is very easy to see that's and that that's basically what I was going for It's very easy to see everything and it's it's more suited for the UHC player like I love playing UHC as I said So the most important things are obviously the armor a little bit of the weapons and the ores ores being highlighted and things of that nature So guys that is gonna be it if you guys want to download this texture pack I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below It's gonna be a media fire link and all you guys have to do is drag that into your resource pack folder you guys should know how to do that already and if you don't there are a lot of youtube videos out there for you guys to teach you guys how to do that but anyways guys i want you to go check out ace packs twitter and youtube channel which will be down in the description below he reached out to me and decided that he wanted to make me a texture pack and i was like you know what let's just release it to the public so you guys no longer have anything to freaking complain about anyways guys 
Once again, thank you so much for helping me hit 200,000 subscribers, and I hope that we can continue to grow uh, our community and just our family here on the channel. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. Enjoy the texture pack. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a fantastic day. If you guys edit the texture pack, let me know on Twitter. Send me some screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. 200,000 subscribers. We're going to continue to grow. Thank you so much. This is D-Field. We'll see you guys later.